Hey everybody, welcome back to Venture Outdoors with Kurt. Managed to get a deer hunt in. Here's a little bit of video from that hunt. What that means for me is time to make some more summer sausage and jerky. This year I'm going to come in and try some bacon too. Anyways, don't forget if you are new, hit that subscribe button. If you've been following me, I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And hit that bell notification so you don't miss the next video. See you in the next one. God bless. Take care. This night, it was just a beautiful night out, as you can see. I was sitting in a fence row. I was surrounded by scrapes and rubs on the trees all through this fence line. And I had corn on my left side, and then this was a picked bean field out in front of me. And these deer snuck out of the woods and came across real quick out in front of me, this lead doe. She got across the opening in front of me too quick. I couldn't get a shot at her had me a little worried because the slight breeze that there was was blowing right across my face as I'm looking right now going to the right so I thought for sure she was gonna win me when she got over there I believe this was the second night I was sitting here in this spot and the first night I had a small buck and a handful of does come out of the corn to my left and then <clears throat> these come out of here tonight. Could have been the same group of four or five does, but these started to work across in front of me. This smaller doe started to come across, and then the last two were hanging out, and I believe they were button bucks, just kind of playing around out there. These two button bucks were playing out there in the field for possibly like 20 minutes. Then they decided to head towards the fence row I was in and as they move closer to the fence line here they stop and look back into the corner of the woods and then they get spooked as you'll see here in a minute but I actually saw a deer back there in the woods but I couldn't make it out and I'm betting that it was one of the deer that I was after I was pretty sure that the one at the back of the woods was a buck I heard some faint grunts and I had been hearing some activity like that uh, the last couple of days. This is a couple days into hunting. I wanted to do some more scouting. Actually, I was doing some squirrel hunting while I was scouting. Just kind of checking things out in the area that I haven't had a chance to look at. And you can see it right there in the middle of the screen between those trees. The buck that I was after comes walking right in on me. This is like 11 a.m., I had bumped a small deer out of this corner as I was working through the woods, didn't think much of it, and then this guy had me dead to rights. He was coming in the woods and I was stuck out in the open so I ended up standing there. He had me pinned down for like 20 minutes, I couldn't move. These GoPros don't do it justice because he's really only... 40 45 yards away probably but it makes it look like he's a lot further with that GoPro I probably had 20 different opportunities where I could have shot at him as he's moving across in front of me I was so frustrated if that wasn't enough to see the buck that I'd been hunting not have a bow in hand middle of the day to add salt to the wound I'm squirrel hunting I've only seen one or two squirrels, haven't had a shot yet, and then a squirrel comes down this tree right next to him and is looking at me. I can't even shoot the squirrel. I was telling somebody, I don't know if I consider this good luck or bad luck. Good luck that I saw the deer that I wanted or bad luck that I couldn't do anything about it. Either way, I had an opportunity a couple nights before this where he came out of the corn on me and had me pinned. I couldn't do anything. He was within five yards and I couldn't get a shot off with limbs and everything in the way. I know it's hard to see his rack in this video, but believe me, he's a decent buck. And if I tried to blow it up anymore, um, adjusting the crop on it, it just gets too diluted and meshed out. You can't see anything. So this 
was unbelievable. He'd played around here for, like I said, like 20 minutes. I'm waiting for him to move off, and then he comes out from behind these trees and decides that he wants to bed down. You can hear me say no just as he's about to lay down. I th honestly think he heard me. Told you he heard me. But watch as he's leaving the woods. I have this slowed down a little bit. You can make out his rack a little bit just as he gets out to the edge. Can you guys believe that? Come out here, lunchtime, to do some squirrel hunting. And that buck walks up on me. Unbelievable. Man. Why didn't I have my bow? Middle of the day. God. Well, I hope he's not too spooked and comes back tonight or something. Dang it. So I'm back at the same spot a couple nights after that. They're picking corn behind the woods in this other cornfield. The next landowner was picking corn, moving some things around, and I saw a deer cross through the woods in front of me earlier than when I started filming. So I was periodically calling just to try to draw him out. I could hear the corn breaking out there. He was moving back and forth, either that or there was multiple deer out there. But all of a sudden I heard him coming at me out of the corn, so I was getting ready. After watching him run across there, I was pretty sure I'd hit him, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I waited till dark and then got up and went over to where I last saw him. Looked for some blood, but I didn't really find anything. So I had me second guessing myself. Hey everybody, this is the next morning. I decided to let him rest overnight. Um, couldn't find any blood where he ran last night and combination of my eyes getting bad and not enough light but I did find some blood so now I just gotta try and track him here I think he ran in the cornfield see what we can do well, there it is guys, not much of a blood trail, um, he went out in the corn and I just had to start walking rows to find him. I was pretty sure, I thought I heard a deer crashing around in there last night after the shot, but wasn't 100% sure until I found that blood this morning, and I just couldn't find a lot of, a lot of blood. So. Anyways, just started walking rows and he was dead from last night, so glad to have him. I'm meat hunting, so get a little meat in the freezer and I'm happy with that. Well, there he is. I ended up finding him out in the middle of the cornfield, so I just got done dragging him out, which is why I was sweating and a little bit more out of breath. Not the deer I was after, but it will have to do. In my opinion, you will not find a better locally sourced no added hormones, antibiotic free, grass fed, grain finished, free range, field to table piece of protein out there. So the next time you're standing in front of the beef counter, maybe think about going hunting. Hope you enjoyed this one. 
see you in the next one. God bless. Take care.